So Botswana is planning to land their own satellite, and it is called Botsat-1. Maybe Botswana Satellite-1 is the first satellite they are launching. The president of Botswana, President Dumaboko, is already in the United States of America to witness this great day. And I'm thinking, why are they going to do this? This is going to open a lot of opportunity for the people of Botswana, even moving forward, because we know in the fourth industrial revolution, President Botswana is obsessed with this whole digitalization. Not only that, is also an opportunity if you look at Botswana, those of you who are tourists and you have who have visited Botswana before. When you are going into the interior, that is Okovango, you realize that at a point you not have access to internet. So why don't we make it possible for our tourists to have such a lovely experience where they come to Botswana? By launching this Bosat one or this satellite, it's going to make it very easy for Starlink, you know, to work. Especially Starlink Mini Park make it very easy for tourists to have access to their internet 24 by 7. After the lunch, the president of Botswana will be meeting also the SpaceX to, as it were, have a conversation around that and as to how they can come to Botswana and make sure that they also have access to that mini park and residential packages as far as Starlink is concerned. So that is what they are trying to do. Bosat One will bring numerous benefits to the people of Botswana. The satellite's hyperspectral camera payload will provide key intelligence on the contents of grounds and soils, directly benefiting local agriculture and mining industries. This new space data will empower decision makers with the information needed for a long-term planning and investment. Additionally, the mission will generate hands-on technical and mission operations experience for Botswana's engineers, further advancing the country's space technology capability. So that is what it says. This is, these are some of the benefits the people of Botswana are going to get from these satellites. They are going to really enjoy it and may have the chance. We are talking about fourth industrial revolution. You can't talk about fourth industrial revolution without good internet. What is digitalization without good internet service? So that is what they are trying to do, so that every part of Botswana, you can have access. You know the people of Botswana and their farmers and livestock for that matter. So imagine people are in their farms and they can have access to the internet. So this will make it very easy, so that when you are in your farm, with the help of Starlink Mini Park, you can, you, can, you can browse. You can just hang it on top of your car and you move to your farm. You sit in your car, you browse for any parts, you know, any parts, any parts. In Botswana, you can have access to good internet connectivity, 4K, you can play video games, you can do whatever you want to do, watch movies, Netflix, all on your phone with just the Starlink mini pack. So the president will be meeting the, the team of SpaceX, that's what they call them, and then have this conversation so that they make this possible. You know, people are going to have a lot of experience. So if you are an investor, maybe a tourist, you want to visit Botswana, you are going to enjoy your experience there in Botswana. With respect to uh, Bossat 1, uh, the satellite thing, that is the news we have for you. And also, you know, I was talking about this man, but soldier who killed three people. Uh, so this, these are the people that he killed. This woman, I know her, and this small boy, my small boy, I know this small boy, you know, and this girl. They were all killed. And according to the soldier, he wanted to actually kill six people before he was arrested. So imagine, he would have killed f extra three, making it six before he would be arrested. But the soul of these people, you know, these lovely people rest in perfect peace. Um, and for the soldier, we pray for him that uh, the good Lord will touch his heart. We don't know what happened. There are so many stories, as I said, about what led him to kill these people. But they are all rumors. We don't know. There are audio circulating uh, we don't know who came out with who came out with such audio and we pray also for the consolation for the family ah we know it's a tough time for them uh, that's all i have for you today if you are yet to subscribe please make sure you do so and like our videos and then comment we are enjoying your comments you know especially when i posted about this satellite stuff that but now we having their first satellites a lot of people commented who would like to see the comments also here under this one and some ask critical questions so why is it that Botswana cannot launch it in Botswana that they have to travel all the way to the united states of america to launch it but remember the people of Botswana they partnered with some of the engineers partnered with the foreign 
companies to make this a reality so they can do it in Botswana maybe in, in, in future in future they can do it but for now that is why they are having it in United States of America and to be specific they said California I <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for watching me uh, tomorrow we have some nice content for you okay so make sure you subscribe to watch it till we come your way have a wonderful day